<laughs> Welcome to the Sleeper Dude 2 channel. I get a lot of questions about how I edit my videos. So I did it for the first year of making hour long videos at least for the last year and a half. I did it all on my iPhone. And you can do that using iMovie. So now for the last several videos, I have moved on to using a Mac computer and using iMovie in there. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the basics of how I edit my videos. So maybe it'll help one of you guys. So when you're gonna start a new project, the purple star, if you have a Mac, is your iMovie. And iMovie comes free with any Mac or iPhone, anything like that. So once you get in here, you'll go to Create New, Movie. Then you'll go to Import Media. Once you get to Import Media, you click on whatever files you have downloaded over to your computer, which if you have an iPhone, you can airdrop them over, or you can use Image Capture, and a cord to bring them over as well. So you just select whatever files you want to put in here, whatever videos. It does it every time I film on cinematic mode for whatever. So here's your media. So say you want to put every one of these in there. Now you can do one at a time like this, just drag it down and drop it. But if you want to do all of them, you can highlight everything, click the plus sign. So now you have your media in here. I always slide this over. See how short these little chunks are? I usually slide over to almost the last bar and that just gives me an idea like from here to here is like about two seconds. So I liked it at about this scale right here. You can see the sound waves of when people start and stop talking. So sometimes you can even edit without even listening to it by clicking right before. Command B splits the clip. You click on it with your mouse and hi it highlights it in yellow. And if you push delete, it deletes that part out where you weren't talking. So then you scroll through here and you get to another spot where there's no talking, right? Same thing, Command B. And if you're wanting to take the middle out of a clip, you can either do it like this by the space bar pauses and plays it, or you can just click on the spot, Command B, highlight the center, click delete, and that'll take the middle out of any clip. Right here, you see it's a hard stop between the two. See how that is? Well, if you want to make a smooth transition, if you have a highlighted clip, you push Command T, and that will put in like a half second transition to dissolve it between the two clips, which makes it a little better looking transition right there. But for the most part, that's what you're gonna use. Space bar, Command B, and then Command T to dissolve them together. Now, if you wanna do all your clips at once, you're wanting to do the dissolve on everything. Command A selects every clip, and Command T, it'll dissolve all your clips together all at once. So you can also do it that way if you have a bunch to do. If you have more media you wanna import, if you go up here to this arrow, you can pick some more clips and import them too. Like if you have an intro, or whatever, like right here, we have a little intro we do, import selected. So then you can scroll up here and it puts it in the timeline depending on whenever it was filmed. So you can drag and drop that down into your, your video. So right in the middle, you can have, you know, show your Instagram, Facebook, stuff like I do. If you click this up here, it looks like a little reel. It'll make all that go away so you can see just the screen. If you hook on this right here and drag it up or down, it'll change the size of all this. So if you go back to this, and say you just wanted to use the audio from one of these clips, well, you can drag it down. So there's like three things you can do. Once you drag it down from there, if you put it on top of here, it'll show this over the top of whatever's playing down here. So it overrides what's below it. And if you click on it and right click, you can detach the audio from this. You can use it down here or you can delete it. So now there's no audio to the B-roll footage so it'll show the B-roll, but it's actually playing the audio from the A-roll footage down here. And once again, anything you highlight and click delete, it removes it. Another thing you can do is drag something from up here. If you go below, then it just uses the audio from it. Same thing here. If you see I start talking here, Command B, and that splits the audio because it's highlighted in yellow. You can delete the part off, and you can drag and move this audio anywhere you want it. And same thing here, you could detach the audio from here, right click, it says detach audio. So now it's using, once you delete this out down here, now it's using this audio from the clip you drug down here. 
So there's lots of ways to layer this stuff. I mean, look, you can have tons of layers in here. I think you could even have another layer of audio below this audio. You could have music and a voiceover, and you could have A and B roll footage all in the same thing. Anything you highlight and push delete, it'll take it out of whatever you're doing. So another thing you can do, you don't want this to be on the screen. You want it to be in the picture with the other one. So what you do is highlight this. You go up here to where it shows this box and it says cutaway. Well, if you click on that and change it to picture in a picture. So now if you look right here, this right here is inside the other video of me and you can make it bigger. So you can make it half the screen or whatever you want to be. Uh, that way, like if you want a logo or something, or say you had a video of the engine blowing up and you're talking about it, you can put it on the screen here and make it whatever size you want it to be and wherever you want it to be. Another thing you can do in iMovie is you can turn the volume up and down. So say this right here, the audio is too quiet. Feet. Ready, right out of the can. You can hook onto this line right here and bring it up. Now it's 400%. Tickle pig feet. Ready, right out. Or you say it's too loud, you can bring it way down. So if you have a clip where somebody's turned their head away from the camera, you can actually split the clip and say you just want this audio to be louder and this audio to be quieter. Get together. There you go, it's done. You can also reduce background noise. If you click right here, it has an option to reduce background noise on whatever clip is highlighted. It has to be highlighted in yellow. You click on that and what it, take that next it takes some of that background rain noise out of this clip. What it, take that next and you can adjust how much by sliding this left and right. You can also speed up a clip. So say you have a highlighted clip, you click on the little tachometer thing. There's a drop down box where you can go fast. So you can see it shorten the clip up. That's pretty funny. So you can go two times, four times, eight times, 20 times. Oh, this is fun. Or you can go custom and you could say, I want to be 25% be more. So I'll do 125, I press enter. So it's a little bit faster. You want to take that next family get together? Oh man. <laughs> you want to take that next family get together? Oh, I love this. Or you can also slow it down. So you click on slow. Now we can do say 50% of the original. Some more things you might need to know over here. If you click on titles, this is how you add words on the screen. So say you wanted to add in some, uh, I use the pixie dust one at the end of my videos. So you just drag it down here. Once it's highlighted in yellow, you can make it longer or shorter, however long you want it to be. And you just click up here and type in whatever it is. Say, uh, I am stupid. Enter, enter, and then it's on the screen and it'll appear. And there's about 50 options here you can do with that. You can delete that one out, drag a different type of text down here and put in whatever you want to put. There you go, and you can have like this one has. You could you could have a title and then something below it. If you go over to transitions, like I was talking about these transitions, I always use dissolve, but there's lots of different options here where it will change the way that the transition is. If you want to fade to black or you want to, uh, curtains to open in between, whatever you want to do, there's an option here for you to change the way that your uh, transitions are between your clips. There's also a way right here, the little video camera with the lines around it that stabilizes shaky footage, like if you had squeezy video it or something. And another one I use a lot right here, this little picture frame, if you click crop to fill, you can zoom in on somebody or say, you know, there's something walks into the edge of the frame, you don't want it there. So once you zoom in where you want it, then that clip is zoomed in like that, so that's a good one too. Especially if somebody's making a silly face in the background, you can zoom in on them. But you can change the color. There's so many things you can do with this. You can put filters on it to make it look different ways. If you click on right here, these three little circles, over here, over here it'll pop up options for your filters. So you just kind of hover over them here and it'll show you what the clip would look like if you change. So you can even flip it from one side to another, make it look cartoony. All kinds of stuff you can do here. X-ray. But there you go, lots of different options. You can absolutely make your clips awesome or, or ruin them depending on your skill level. 
And once you get done with it in the top corner up here is how you save it to your computer. You click on this. I use export file and it saves it straight to the computer. So in here, you can change some of the settings if you want the resolution lower. I just go with the standard 1080p, high quality, fast compression. And once you click next, it'll ask you to name the file. And when you click save, it will save it to your computer and a little, a little clock will pop up in the top corner and show you uh, progress of it. And it saved your computer and you can upload it to YouTube or whatever you want to upload it to. You want to hear a funny voice? Yeah, sure. Do it all the way over here so it can be like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's saying 10%. <laughs> so I hope this helps somebody that's wanting to learn how to edit. If it makes you feel any better, the first 12 years of YouTube, I had basically no editing experience whatsoever. I did a little bit in YouTube Studio, but that was about it, very minimal stuff. So I just learned on the fly with my iPhone. You can do a lot of this stuff from your iPhone. It's just a little bit slower, not quite as many options. So I would definitely recommend if you're wanting to do something kind of professional, at some point you're gonna have to switch over to a laptop, really, unless you're doing short videos. But hope this helps somebody. Please let me know in the comments if uh, it helped you. If you have any more questions, you can comment below. I will try to answer them if I know how. I appreciate you guys watching as always. Thanks for checking out the Sleeper Dude 2 channel and check out our main channel, Sleeper Dude. Check us out on other platforms at Sleeper Dude 88.